Hi, I'm Mel Martin, and this is the new TWO10 Yanagisawa Lacquered Brass Tenor Saxophone. Straight out of the box, one of the first ones in the USA. And uh, I'm liking this horn quite a bit. I've been playing it and practicing with it, and uh, be, will be doing some work in the near future with it. It's also got um, some very new features, which I'm going to tell you about in a minute. First, I'm going to play a little bit for you. Um, has a very even tone quality to this tenor and it's uh, uh, developed beyond the previous version which was the T991 which was also brass. There is a difference now uh, in the brass alloys that they're making out of and there's some different configurations as well as some differences with the bore and these are resulting in a much more centered kind of sound that I'm liking a lot. Um, it's got some new features including a more stable palm key on the right, a side key where you hit it here and it it has a stopper, I don't know, can we see that? There it is. has a stopper right there instead of up near the pad. So it feels more stable when you hit it and I like to hit that key a lot. So uh, it's good to hold on to it and be much more firm. Um, in the also in the right hand the pinky keys you can see them there the pinky keys are a little more different configuration as well as the thumb hook which brings it all into a much nicer round kind of position for your right hand so it feels really very good when you just hold your hands in exactly the right position it's uh, it's a very forgiving saxophone if you hold it correctly you will be able to play it correctly um, and again it, it features a really nice even tone from top to bottom <laughs> Also has a newly designed front alternate F key, the fork, we call that the fork F, and it's used for F and E and sometimes high G. 
and uh, it's even slimmer. The previous one was very, very good. We liked that. It was quite easy to use, but this is even a little, little nicer, a little tighter for all the differences in there so you can get your finger right to it, which is helpful. W01, which is previously the 901, and also the bronze 902 W02, have um, an added plate, which this horn already has, which is supporting the uh, palm keys up high. They've added that, and they've added another plate to the neck of those horns. So there's a uh, added mass to that, which makes it for um, more playable and more sound coming from the horn. It just, I just, the first thing that jumped out at me when I started playing this horn, when I got it right out of the case, perfectly adjusted, was that um, it had a very, very nice core, especially down low, which some of the older horns were good, never a really problem, but need a little more focus. was a young man the uh, thing to do is to um, go down to San Francisco I'm from Sacramento and purchase a new Selmer Mark VI so my teacher at that time Mr. Bud Harfum and I went together and picked out a horn out of several I paid all of $350 for it and I was really thrilled to have that Mark VI I had been playing a 10M and some other things but nothing is of that quality and when I got that horn I found I could do things on it that I couldn't do on any other horn and when I got this horn and I have other Yanagasawa horns and yes I love playing them they all have great sounds there's many great qualities great uh, materials that they use bronze brass silver and uh, different platings as well I have pink gold plated tenor and soprano um, but when I started playing this horn, I found things coming out that just were much easier to get to. Uh, it, it's, it reminded me a great deal. They don't really play like a Selmer Mark VI. They actually are much more consistent. And uh, Yanagasawa has its own voice. It doesn't really sound that different from the previous Yanagasawas, but it's just a better design. The ergonomics are better, and you can just get from here to there on it much easier much more reliable so i'm really liking the w010 model of tenor and uh, i'm anxious for a lot of tenor players to try them because um, they don't want to give up some of those other instruments and i think this one may be the one that could uh, tempt them to do that so all you tenor players out there check out the new w010 Tenor. In addition to the other features, this also has many of the innovations that Yanagasawa has been pioneering over the years, including the underslung octave key, which is this kind of signature uh, style for octave keys based on the old King and Busher styles, where the octave key works from underneath as opposed to on top of the neck. 
Uh, also is the uh, double rods on the B and the C for more stability there so they they n never really get knocked loose easily or anything like that and they stay in adjustment much better. As well as the uh, little arm that closes the F combination. Yanagasawa had a great uh, scale. The intonation has always been very, very good on the Yanagasawa saxophones. Uh, they've improved on this new model even more. Um, they've they've redesigned some of the tone hole placement, I believe, and uh, are even more accurate. So this helps us as saxophonists uh, to have that. Um, the Yanagasawa has a uh, Yanagasawa company has a great philosophy of making instruments that. Um, talks about the spirit of the saxophone, the voice of the saxophone, and indeed they have their own voice. The instrument uh, has a voice that you can sing through, and that's very important. Um, a great saxophone has that. It's, it's character. It's not bland. It has something to offer, and uh, the Yanagasawa line has done that very, very well, and this, is, this horn is no exception. I will be doing another video later on comparing the different uh, materials, the bronze and the silver and the pink gold plated horns and you can hear and see the differences in that. But the new W010 is a very solid instrument and uh, I do again believe you're going to like this saxophone quite a bit. Thank you for listening. Bye bye now.